Shivers. What's up there, big dog? Hey, how are you? Man, I'm just absolutely wonderful. How about you? Good. So we just yeah, wanted to make sure our signal was good. Running. What? Three games running. It appears to be finishing up around 755. Too late. I've got a free game right here. actually go to the next one play. Surely it's... Oh, no, okay. No, my bad. That's a field game. Yeah. Um, so three and a half minutes. Sorry. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to say CSI Radiator. Melinda sold it. So the signal sounds all right from here. Do you want to go on in about three minutes? That sounds good. Okay, I'm going to get to the board, okay? Perfect. Okay. I don't have any. Well, I have this right now, but what we're doing is we're, fi we're going on in three minutes. So I, I've, got, I've got our voices going through there right now. Well, no, I just now turned it up. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. I just wanted to get that off there so I don't jerk it with my arm. They built a very, very nice facility here, but the press box sways back and forth. It's almost like it's only sunk in the ground about a foot. <laughs> I mean, literally. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that one night it stormed up here, man. It was. Oh, that was spooky, wasn't it? Yeah. I, we were kind of looking for a place to go. Like, yeah. if this thing falls, I'm just going to yeah. jump out the window. Yeah. And I don't know why. 72. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah. Is he starting tonight? Yes. I think so. Yes. Yeah. That's Mickey Upton. Right here? Yeah, number 72. 72. Mickey Upton. <sighs> Should ain't Dickie Upton? Nope. It's Mickey. It's Mickey, okay. Hey, hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. All right, we're going to go on uh, should be pretty about a minute, minute and a half, I think. I think we're close. Just under two minutes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect, man. Hey, we're on the uh, we're on the Michael Ferris schedule, brother. We do, we just go on whenever you tell us, man. No. Hey, Mike, at uh, halftime, you bring us a fresh cup of coffee? Oh, I can see what I can do. <laughs> I'm counting on you, brother. Hey. <laughs> Here's my... Where's my cup? What cup? Oh, it's in the bag. Yep. Yeah. What do you need? I got it. She's got it. Oh, okay. She got me, got me covered, man. She got, got you covered. Got me covered. Mm-hmm. Chris Edwards, I like Chris. God, I got so Okay, one minute. One minute. One minute from Mark. Yeah, it's gonna be just right. Hey, this coffee at Casey's was good, dude. Yep, their classic roast. Yeah. Yep. I should have grabbed one of those cups and just put some of their creamer in Yeah. Right yeah. There, yeah. Go down to the uh, concession stand and see if they have coffee. I'm sure they do. Yeah, they'll have and coffee. creamer. When we went to Pilgrim, sure. I went to see if they had coffee, and they, did, they had it on the menu, but they didn't have it. Just here, I got some cash. Don't use that. That's oh, stupid. I don't mind using that. I just never carry cash. Don't, yeah, don't use I got some ones. Use some ones. 15 seconds. Okay, I'm going to turn our mics down. Okay, here we go. 15 seconds, Mike. Yeah. Three, two, one. The Alma Airedales are on the air on the Marshall 1230 96.7.
to another night of exciting Alma Airedale football. It's also brought to you in part by good friends Warren Robertson, your shelter insurance agent. He'll be bringing you the shelter insurance hard collision of the game. We do that late in the fourth quarter. It's also brought to you by our good friends at uh, the Pizza Place. My buddy uh, Adam Daly and his crew, Caitlin, Courtney, and Missy, are working hard tonight. Don't forget you can get three large any topping pizzas, only $28 plus tax. And by the looks of the uh, fans across the way, the visiting fans from Alma, a lot of you are not making the trip up here, and I, I don't blame you. You know, the, the COVID thing is, uh, it, well, it, let's just say it's alive and well. It is uh, football time. You're listening. Let's kick this thing off. CSI Radiator Repair pregame show on the Marshall 96.7 FM, AM 1230, and also on our live stream. We are going to take a pause for the cause and come back on the other side. They're going to be playing the national anthem, and we'll be back uh, in about two minutes. Welcome back, everyone. It is time for the CSI Radiator Repair pregame show. Of course, CSI right there at Fort Smith. From commercial and industrial to cars, trucks, SUVs, motorhomes, farm equipment, if it has a radiator, CSI Radiator can uh, flush it, fill it, or repair it. Proud sponsor of our pregame show and our postgame show on the Marshall and also AM 1230. Well, Mike, last week uh, the Airedales took on P Ridge uh, and uh, Coach Jeff Williams and that crew, uh, a very, very well-coached team uh, in P Ridge. Logan Cronister had a record-setting night in two ways for the Airedales. Third consecutive game with over 100 yards rushing. Um, it has been uh, 10 years since that happened. And he also set a single-game rushing record, uh, breaking the record of Noah Dotson. 33 carries, 281 yards, four touchdowns for Cronister on the night. Uh, the young man absolutely just played his tail off. And when we, uh, when we got to talk to the coaches... One of the things that they kept bringing up, Mike, was that every time someone patted him on the back and said, hey, man, great game, you know, you, you broke a record, you set a record, all he could say was, I didn't do it by myself, I've got teammates. And I, I really, really appreciate players like that. Yeah, that's just uh, straight up, just straight, that's just great respect for your front line. And, you know, the guys blocked all night long. They didn't, they didn't get wore down. I mean, them guys pushed them guys around all night long. So, like you said, that's just, you know, just great. Just being uh, being a teammate. Being a teammate. You're exactly, exactly right. right. You're exactly right. Yep. Hey, you know our uh, our drive to Harrison um, roads and everything are fine. The leaves are not turning as of yet, but in the next two to three weeks, if you can get out and take in some uh, some views around the natural state, you're going to see some of the most beautiful time of the year in the state of Arkansas. Um, the uh, the drive to Harrison always gorgeous. You know, not not bad at all. And uh, matter of fact, it was made even better. By, uh, by the pizza place. They always take care of us when we're on the road traveling. We order that, uh, that large meat lovers, uh, extra crispy, and, and um, man, they just they, they handle it and, and, and take really good care of us, and they, they fed us on the way up here tonight. We certainly appreciate them. You know, Mike, if, um, 
if you have to look back on the season so far with, um, with Alma, uh, one of the things that, that we can say is young team, a lot of players playing in new positions, new coaching staff, but boy, what a, uh, what a lot of heart these kids are playing with. And, you know, doing the, uh, the coaches show that's on uh, Airedale Nation, uh, you can just, you can tell Coach, Coach Bush is, uh, he's seeing the things that, that we're seeing from the booth that the fans are seeing. They're seeing a lot of good plays and they're putting this thing together. And now that it's conference time, now is the time to put things together and get them rolling. Yeah, you're exactly right. Whenever we started out the season, you know, the first two games were non-conference games, and we didn't see a lot of what we're seeing now. They really didn't put it out there on the field, letting everybody know about it, because I'm telling you, from the first two games to last week was a 180-degree turnaround, because I'm telling you, they were just a different team. And like you said, uh, they're young, but they got a lot of heart, and uh, they don't stop. No, they don't. And I mean, you and look that's at just Alma football, though. They, oh, they yeah. never stop. No. Well, you look at players like Connor Stacy. Never played quarterback in his life. Yeah. And uh, he's come in. Um, last week, Connor Stacy, uh, 13 to 23, 178 yards. Listen, he, you know, he, he, on, well, on the season, he's, he's learned the position. He's picked it up quick. And uh, if, if he's not running the football or handing it off to Logan Cronister, then he's looking, for, uh, he's looking for another open receiver or a place to go with the ball. He, he always has his heads up. Yeah, and and I, I love that about the kid. Uh, yeah, you're exactly right. Well, I always bring this up because we usually miss it. But oh, the uh, coin toss! We got the coin toss yeah. going on here. So, uh, and I always, always miss this. You know, <laughs> I, I, for years with Tex, uh, and, and for years with uh, with David Ray, we'd always miss it. Hey, my buddy Spooner's got us tuned in. Rick Spooner's got Rick us tuned Spoon. in tonight. The Spoon, big Spoon, and uh, of course, all of our friends back at home watching on the live stream and listening on the Marshall ninety six seven. Um, we certainly appreciate uh, all of your support and. Uh, just remember, if you're in the uh, in the place of business of any of these fine sponsors that you see on the live stream or you hear on the radio, it, man, make sure and thank them for uh, for being a part of uh, the Alma School System. Not just the athletic department, but you know the band. They they work awful hard. They they have band competition. The cheerleaders. They you know they they, they go to cheer competition and. You know, it's it's just a you know the school spirit, and and that that's just one of the things that I love about this town. And, and for that, and hey, Mayor, thank you. Look at the beauty that he has brought, and and the the vision that's going on right now in downtown yeah, Alma, Mike. Yeah. I mean, you know, listen, Jerry's done a great job, and and you uh, you take the ball and you run with it, or you uh, you just uh, draw a paycheck and and uh, wait for somebody else to get elected. They have absolutely made downtown Alma. A destination, and once they're finished, it's going to be so beautiful. Something to definitely be proud of. The uh, Goblins have won the coin toss. They've deferred to the second half. Alma will take the football first, and we're off and running. All right, we still have about four minutes until kickoff. We're going to take another quick timeout and come back with uh, more on the CSI Radiator pregame show. Live from Harrison on the Marshall 96.7 FM and also on AM 1230.
Welcome back, everyone. Kick off, getting set to uh, get underway now, live from Golden Goblin Stadium. You've been listening to the CSI Radiator pregame show, and uh, we certainly appreciate uh, Tim Adams and everything that uh, Tim and uh, Miss Connie do for uh, for us here uh, on the Marshall and also uh, on the live stream. And and, and uh, Alma will be moving from right to left as the Goblins in their home blue with white pants. Alma is traveling green pants and white tops. Ball is going to be fielded by Fusler. Fusler, 15 to the 20. Trey breaks a tackle, moves out to the 23-yard line. Penalty flag comes in late. Let's wait and see what the call is. It come in right as the play was ending, right as Fusler was being brought to the ground, Mike. And I'm not sure uh, what what this one. It was on the far side oh, yeah. of the field where the action was. And here comes the white hat. We'll get the call. It's going to be a face, face mask on Harrison. Now, is it incidental or is it a major 15-yarder? Let's uh, see what – well, they're backing up a long way. Yeah, it's going to be a big one, Mike. No, I don't think it's – You know, you're he, right. Absolutely. I, I, I think he just raked yeah. it across the front, yeah. so that's a good call. So it's uh, first down and 10 from the Airedale 29, and that's where uh, Alma takes off and running. Yeah, he didn't throw the old personal foul up, so here we go. Here we go. Connor Stacy shotgun. Cronister gets the call left side, 30, 35, big hole, 40. Cronister out to the 45-yard line. Big pickup of 16 yards for Logan Cronister, already off and running tonight, picking up right where he left off, Mike. Yes, sir, he did. And I'll tell you who got to meet him real quick was Joshua Scott, and he ran over Joshua Scott. I'm just letting you know. Well, all he did was say hi. <laughs> He said, hi, how you doing? I'm number 26. Yeah. Good to meet you. I'll be seeing you a lot tonight, man. <laughs> Alma breaks the huddle. They send two wide outs to the far side. That is uh, Jacob Corsi and also uh, Menardis. Cronister gets the call. Cross the 45, midfield into Goblin football territory. As Logan carries it to the 47-yard line. Eight yards on that carry, second down and two. Well, that's what he did last week, eight and a half yards to carry. Eight and a half is what he averaged. That's a lot of yards, man. If this kid stays healthy this year, there is no telling how many yards he will have, and we'll keep our eyes yep. on him uh, each and every night. Alma breaks the huddle. They send Briley White to the left side. He's the wide out on the wide side of the field. Now they run Cronister in motion. They hand off. I want to say that was, that was Reagan Birchfield. I think that's who it was. Uh, yeah, I think it's Birchfield on the carry. Or not, was it Josh? Is no, that 28 or 23? 23. It was Birchfield. That's who it was. It was Reagan Birchfield. Birchfield uh, gets back to the line of scrimmage before he stopped. It'll be third down and two. The ball is resting on the 47 of Harrison. Just underway. No scorner ball game. First drive of the game. Airedales break the huddle. They have Braden Allen lined up and tied in on the right side with no wideouts to that side. They send Corsi to the left. There's the pitch. They're going to be hitting the backfield and lose five yards as Cronister just could not get free. They uh, were running to the wide side of the field, Mike, and ended up losing four yards on the carry. It'll be fourth down and six, and out comes the punting unit for the Airedales. Or are they? Um, they're lining up to go for it. Here we go early on. Airedales, are they going to quick kick or try to draw them off sides? It's fourth and sixth. Now nah, they're going to quick kick. Yep. Connor Stacy gets a snap. He'll just quick kick. They have nobody back. This ball will hit at the 25, and it'll take a Harrison bounce and be down to the 24. So that's where the Goblins will have the football. First and 10, 934 left to play in the opening quarter. Still no score in our ball game. just underway from Goblin Stadium on an absolutely beautiful Friday night. No wind at all in Harrison tonight, except the uh, the hot air coming out of the radio booth. <laughs> and um, I know I know Miss Sharon will love that. Uh, 65 degrees is what they're showing on the temp, so perfect football weather. First down and 10, Cole Keaton, the quarterback. They'll have two backs in the backfield. They drag a man from left to right in the pattern and overload the right side, back to pass. Left-hander going over the middle, going deep. He's got a man wide open at the 40. He might take it to the house. One man can catch him, and they're not going to touch him, Mike. He no. goes for six. Yep. A um, 
Whew, just a big old pass, man. 20 uh, or 75 yards on the pass play. Yeah, Noah Moix is his name. That was your receiver. And, uh, man, that was just just a fly pattern is all it was. They uh, they had two in the backfield. They've been showing a one-back set. But I uh, had two in the backfield and just, uh, just sent them on a fly route down the middle. Point after for the Goblins. One play, one score. Kick is up, and it is good. 9.24 left to play. Opening quarter. Harrison draws first blood. They lead Alma 7 to nothing. You're listening to Airedale Football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Welcome back, everyone. Ball is teed up. Harrison kicks it off. They're going to kick it deep. Noise picks it up at the 7. He's back to the 10. Slips a tackle. 15 to the 20. Good job on the return by man, Brady. I'm telling you. As Brady picked that up on the 7, he was in no man's land, Mike, but did a good job tightrope walking down the sideline and, yeah. and uh, making sure a couple of defenders missed and uh, actually – Moved it out, and they start off better than what I thought Alma was going to start this second drive just with a good return on special teams. Yeah, he was, like you said, stuck on the side. He picked it up on the sideline. I, I thought he was going to let it go out, but he picked it up, and like you said, he had a great return. Briley White comes wide to the left side. They have Corsi wide to the right. Cronster in the backfield. He gets the call to the right side. 25-30, busts a tackle. First down at 10 as Logan carries for 10 yards. You know what? It, it, listen, do you see what he just did? Pitch the ball to the official. Like love there. that. Yeah. I absolutely love that. That just shows sportsmanship, and it shows it shows good character. Well, I guess we got to meet him again. Number two, yeah. Beck Jones. I'm telling you, I think yeah. they're going to be meeting they're each other be, a lot. They're, they're going to be on a first-name <laughs> basis. Airedales. Cronister in the backfield. Now they overload the left side. Cronister gets the call. 35, hit and stopped after one yard. They tried the left side of the line, but didn't have anything work in there, Mike, as yeah. Harrison had uh, – they read that play correctly and uh, had their uh, had their defense overloaded on the on the right side of the defensive line, and they just – they met Logan in the, uh, in the hole. He managed to actually pick up three yards, which is amazing, and it'll be second down at seven. Yeah, they're running a 4-3 – Defense there, four up front, three with your middle linebacker and outside linebackers, and they're just overloading your linebacker. Second down and seven. Under center, they pitch to Cronister. 35, turns it up to the 40. Across the 40 to the 42 before Logan's brought down. A gain on the play, a tough three yards, four yards maybe. Yeah, they're going to give him They're going to give him four. It will be third down and three. That was just tough sledding right there, man. It, that, it was just... Pound for pound, muscle for muscle, just going at it. Yeah, they had a blitz coming. Number 34, uh, Anthony Allen, come through there and chased him around from behind and, and actually caught him. Airedale's looking. Nathan Smith, the uh, the center. And of course, uh, Connor Stacy. The, uh, the exchange has been good tonight. Continued rolling out. Connor looking to pass. Steps up. He's in trouble in the pocket. Going to be hit and sacked. Right around the 33-yard line. He was looking downfield, but I'm okay with that because he, he didn't have any time to throw, really, yeah. Mike. And the the, uh, the wideouts were covered. So Connor did the smart thing. Instead of throwing it and, you know, possibly getting it picked off, he did the smart thing. He just he took the sack, and they lived to fight again. Yeah, they, were, they had another blitz coming. They're blitzing pretty hard right up the middle. I mean, right up the gut. Dane Martin, back to punt, going to have it blocked. And they'll catch it. That's, uh, oh, my goodness, Alma's going to pick up a first down. Who is that? That's one of the up backs. Is that Bra uh, uh, Reagan Birchfield? Yes. I think it's Birchfield. Here's what happened. The, well, and it's going to come back, I think, because there is a, uh, 
There's a penalty flag at the 42, but here's what happened. The punt was blocked, and uh, it looked like Dane may have taken just an extra step, but the punt was blocked. It goes straight up in the air. Birchfield snags it out of the air. Dane was up here trying to get it. Birchfield took it and just run it down the field. He returned it to the 41-yard line of, uh, of Harrison. Now, the officials are talking it over. There's a penalty flag at the Alma 42. Uh, let's just wait and see what the call is. Personal foul on Alma. Um, and they will bring that back. back. Fourth down. And it will remain fourth down. Man, that was, uh... that was a great, uh, great play, man. Just a heads-up play by Birchfield. Still fourth down after the penalty. The ball spotted back inside the Alma 30. He's around the 27. Man. And he was back there before Dane uh, was ready to kick. Yeah, he didn't have he, the ball he, he was waiting on him to kick. High snap. He's going to have to run for his life. Dane's just going to take off and run with it. There's a penalty flag in the, in the backfield uh, where Dane was back at the uh, 18. That's probably going to be a... Either a try, either a holding or a block in the back because he was. Yeah, they're going to decline that. So a huge uh, turn of events as Harrison will take over. It is a block in the back. Yeah. And they're going to decline it. They'll just take the play. The ball will be spotted at the Airedale 31-yard line. And it will be first down and 10 Harrison. Well. That was a crazy little yeah. runabout. Goblins, back to pass. Looking down the left side, here comes the pressure. Quarterback unloads, got a man wide open at the 20 to the 15. Inside the 10, down to the 5. And it'll be first down and goal, Harrison. That was Jordan Welsh on the catch. He's the one that we knew that uh, Cole... Uh, Likes to go Keelon, through. you know, loves to throw to. Yep, and he was wide open, like you said. He was just standing there, run, a, run about a 15-yard or about a 10-yard curl pattern, just standing there. First down and goal from the Airedale, where they mark it, the six? Yes. Yep, from the Airedale six. Keelon, senior quarterback, six foot, 190-pounder, gets a snap, going to keep it, run it to the right side, inside the five, touchdown. So Keelon carries it in from six yards out. You know, not only can he throw the football, Mike, but he also runs the ball extremely well. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got some good wheels on him. Yep. He's a left-handed quarterback. Keelon's a six foot, one hundred ninety pound senior, and the Goblins are up thirteen to nothing with six fourteen left to play in the opening quarter. Extra point by Noah Moy. Good hold, good snap, kick is up, and it's good. 6-14 to play. First quarter. 14 to nothing. Harrison will be back with more right after this. Welcome back, everyone. 14 to nothing, Goblins. First quarter action here at Harrison tonight. Airedales looking to uh, get into the scoring column. Short kicks going to be fielded 15 to the 20, 25. Noise turns it upfield. Noise to the 30. And a penalty flag on this side thrown late. I don't know what he saw, but he saw something, Mike, as a play was was almost over across the field, and the flag was thrown right where the ball uh, ended up uh, being downed at. So let's see. All the action was on the other side of the field. So. Yeah. Well, there's two flags down. Oh, is there? Yeah, one on this side, one on that side. Let's see what the white hat calls. Illegal block in the back, Alma. Personal foul. Face mask, Harrison. The They're going to offset. Yep. 
Offsetting penalties, both teams flagged. So offsetting penalties in the Airedales. What are they doing? Kick it. Yeah, they're going to re-kick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, noise. Uh, noise been. Uh, he's been about ready to break it a couple of times. He's got some good returns. Brady Noise, a uh, 5'11", 152-pound uh, sophomore. Man, Harrison got some big old kids down there, don't they? They do have some big kids. They that, always, that, always have. That number eight tight end. Yeah, he's big number boy. Number 77. Yeah, he's a big old boy. So Noise goes back to the far side. You have uh, Trey Fusler. Fusler. Trey had some, uh, some good returns last week as well. Yes, sir, he did. Both standing back on their five-yard line. Deep kick. Fusler going to field it. It is five to the 10, the 15, to the 20. Fusler, 25, 30, 35. Fusler down to 37-yard line. So it works out. It works out better for Alma. Um, as they pick up some yards on that return, start their third drive of the first quarter at their own 38-yard uh, line. First and 10, Airedales. Comes the Alma offense. Airedales will send two wideouts, one on either side. Chronister in the backfield. Connor gets a snap. Hands off to Chronister. Goes left side across the 40 to the 42. And a penalty flag on this side of the field on the Harrison uh, home side. Dropped at the 40. Play was on the far side of the field. But looking right down that line, Mike, it's easy to see everything that's going on. You got a pretty good vantage point. Yep. It's going to be holding on Alma. So it's a spot foul from the 40. It will be first down and 18 if they mark it off from the spot of the foul from the 40. Yeah, first down and 18. Well, actually, they gained a yard. They, uh, they. I guess they, they said it happened on the 41, so they marked it back to the 31. Okay, so it'll be first down at 17 for the Airedales. Connor Stacy gets the uh, gets the play call in from the sidelines. Coach uh, Chris Smith, the OC for the Airedales, and here we go. Airedales send two to the left. Nobody in the pattern on the right. Now they overload the left. Chronister busts it outside, 30. Steps back inside up to the 36-yard line. Gain on the play of five yards, second down and 12. You just pick up chunks like that, man. That's all right. You don't need it all at once. I, you know, you, you just pick up chunks and you just move the chains. That's right. Jordan Welsh was on the stop again. Um, Tell you what, that ball player right there, he's, you know, he kids put. Connor Stacy, shotgun formation, two wide outs to the right. That's a wide side of the field. He's rolling to the right, looking to throw. Down the field, has a man, and it's broken up. He was looking for Corsi at the 48-yard line of Harrison, but it was broken up. By Anthony Allen. Anthony Allen was stride for stride with him. Yep. And it'll bring up third down at 12 for Alma. Clock is stopped, 4.48 to play in the opening quarter. 14 to nothing in favor of Harrison. They had one play touchdown and then a block punt. A couple of plays later, they've scored again on a, uh, on a short, uh, short field after the block punt. Yep. Third down and 12. Two wideouts to the left. That's a short side of the field. Connor Stacy gets the snap. Play action, back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Throwing it downfield for Corsi. And Corsi can't make the catch at the 35. I, I think if he'd have kept running a little bit, Mike, because the ball uh, sailed over his head, I yeah. think if he, uh, he he stopped to jump to try to make the catch, I think if he kept running, he might have had a uh, might have had a shot at that ball. Yeah, I, actually, I thought he was uh, throwing it to uh, Bradley White at first, but I, I did too. But when it was, it looked like it was under thrown for him, and then there was Connor Stacy right there. Or Jacob Corsi. Or Jason Corsi, I'm sorry. Dane Martin back to punt. Good snap. Gets his kick off end over end. Low line drive. 
It's going to hit the 35, take an album bounce, and roll out of bounds at the 31-yard line. And that's where Harrison will take over first and 10 for their fourth possession of the uh, of the first half. I'll tell you what, that special team's getting a lot of pressure back there trying to uh, get that punt off. That uh, You don't never see, uh, see him punt a ball like that. It's usually way up high and deep, turnover. Yeah, they're getting a big push. So here comes Cole Keelon, back to pass, left-hander looking, throwing down the field, and overthrows his intended receiver. He was looking for Noah Moy, and Moy was um, being tracked down stride for stride, as Alma was not letting that kid get out of their sights. They know he's the go-to guy. And so uh, the Airedales, and and I I like what they did because they had uh, Joseph York on him. York's 5'11". They have Moy listed at 5'11". That's that's a good matchup. Yeah, he was stride for stride. Second down and 10. Ball is still at the 31 of Harrison. Quarterback keeper to the right side. Hit and tripped up at the 34-yard line. It will be third down at 7. This is more like the Alma defense we're used to seeing. You know, they were playing, having to play with their backs to the uh, to the goal post. And um, so, you know, after after the, the one play, this defense is looking a lot better on this series. Yeah. Josh Callahan got in there and made that tackle. Big play now for Alma's defense. They're looking to stop and get the ball back. Third down and seven. Keelon hands off to the or to the uh, running back. That's number 36, Jordan Welsh. Welsh around the left side is not going to pick up the first down, and it looks like the Alma defense is held. Now, I will tell you something about uh, Coach Joel, well, uh, Joel Wells. They will fake punt from time to time, and they will go for it from time. And they will also pooch kick, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. They're going to try to draw Alma off sides and then just quick kick it. My dad used to love saying pooch kicks on my grandpa. <laughs> so the quarterback is still in there, but it, he'll just he, – no, he's going to run the football. They did fake, they did fake punt it. I, you know, I've seen, I've seen Coach Wells do this, and they run the fake punt. And they run it to the right side, and they picked up the yards that they needed. That was uh, was that Travis Moy on the carry? No, that was the quarterback. Oh, was it? Yeah. Or what? No, it was Moy. Yeah, Moy is their kicker. Yeah, yeah, it was Moy. He's he's the, listen. He he's definitely their best uh, their best player on offense. He's you know other than the quarterback uh, Keelon. Keelon back to pass, setting up the screen, throwing it underneath. It's complete to that tight end that yeah. you like so well. That's Never. a big kid, man. Yeah. That's number eight. Uh, Brecken Dunny, this is a big kid, man. You, he is light. physical. Yeah, yeah. First down to 10 at the Airedale 41. Was not going to let. He, he almost intercepted it. Well, Fuser was about a yard and a half in front of him. He, I mean, Get down to 10 for the Airedale 41. Keelan up to play. In the first quarter, 14 to nothing. Goblins back. Welcome back, everyone. Second down and 10 from the Airedale 41 coming out of the uh, Goblin timeout. Keelan under center. They pitch it back, and the ball is fumbled, and the Airedales fall on top of it. The first turnover, and Devin Poole with the fee of the, the uh, fumble recovery. Devin Poole stepped in there and uh, was right there on top of it, Mike, and, and I, secured it for the Airedales. What I tell you, who's gonna, I thought it was going to have a big game tonight. Said we hadn't heard from him. Said he was hurt there, though. Had it twisted his ankle. Well, he just he wasn't 100%. Everybody's playing nicked up. Yeah. I so, like old Devin. I do, too. <clears throat> so the Airedales would take over first and 10 on their own 44-yard line. 234 left to play in the first quarter. They need a big drive right here. 
get this thing turned around. A little mo, little, little mo, get yeah, some mo get flowing. Some mo going. Here we go. Connor, Stacy, they run Corsi in motion. Throw it to Corsi. It's going to be a double pass. Corsi got a man wide open. Braden Allen. It was underthrown and intercepted. <laughs> Corsi, I don't know if he put enough, you know, couldn't hey, get look. enough mustard. <laughs> the Airedale 25-yard line, so one good turnover deserves another. There you go. Actually, I think he, he was kind of bobbling that ball when he got it. Yeah. He, he had a little pressure coming on he it. He had some pressure coming. Yeah, he just got rid of it real quick. Keelan. Rolling out to pass. Here comes the pressure. Breaks free. Finally hit. And taken down a loss on the play of three yards back to the Airedale 33-yard line. Just give a little credit on the pressure. Yeah, Sean said uh, that was uh, Reagan Levi Burkhart. And Reagan Birchfield. Yep. Both of them in there. Those guys uh, making sure that. Cole see, Keelan did not get loose. You see who's on this end, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nathan Whalen. Nathan Whalen. We have missed you, my friend. Out for a couple of weeks with uh, an injury. Back in the uh, Airedale fold now. Second down, 13. Alma gets a late substitute in the ball game, And here we go. Keelan. Hands off. Running back right up the middle. Man, oh, man, he chewed up some yards. He had some good blocking. That ball was uh, – it was run by uh, Brody Gilliam. Was that Brody? Yep, Brody Gilliam. I think that was a ball carrier. Number six. Yep, number six. And it'll be third down at four. This is a huge play for the Airedale defense. They can shut this thing down right here. Minute 18 left to play in the first quarter. Goblins. Hit in the backfield, not going to get the first down. The ball carrier could not break free. And some good defense that time. Parker Siminski, with one of the first hits on him, slowed him down and, and helped bring him down. And it's fourth down and two, Mike. Yeah, Landon Burkhart was in there, too. He was on the bottom of the pile. That was just straight up good hard hitting right there. So now they're sending in uh, number 42. That's Tristan Thompson. He's a sophomore. And they're going to go for it. Right. Cole Keelan on fourth and two, closer to three. Have to move it to the 15. Yeah. Keelan hit, dives forward after the initial hit. They just couldn't They couldn't bring him down. They uh, they had a hold of him. Birchfield had a hold of him, Mike, but he managed to slip, uh, slip his foot free, and he dove forward. He needed uh, three, and he picked up four. It's first down and 10 from the first Airedale 19, or from the Airedale 14. Yeah, they had the right side overloaded big time, and they just ran around the, the weekend a little bit there. He just barely got it. Like you said, he slipped the tackle. That was all it was. <clears throat> Keelan with the wide side of the field to the right. They have trips to the right. Back to pass. Complete. Out in the flat, and a nice hit, and a nice stop on Noah Moy. Travis, he's a That's a good hit. Well, Fusler right he on top of him. Yeah, he? he was. As soon as he got the ball, made about two steps. I think he knocked the wind out of him. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He's coming down to come to a knee. Second down and eight. Ball is resting just outside the 11. So, and uh, that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So after one quarter, the uh, Golden Goblins lead the Airedales 14 to nothing. You're listening to Alma Football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Please let them know when you guys go back there. I know they're all wearing masks.
too to make an appointment today. Pointer Trail Family Clinic, helping put you and your health first. Well, as we start the second quarter, it will be second down and eight for the Goblins from the Airedales just outside the 11, close to the 12. Quarterback, Cole Keelan, the senior, will line up shotgun formation. Jordan Welsh in the backfield. Still waiting on the officials to give the go-ahead to uh, yeah. play some ball. They'll also have Moy back there. What do they get going on? I'm still not sure. Oh, we're talking to the coaches over here on the Alma sideline. Oh, I see. Yeah, the the White Hats down there talking to Coach Bush right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I see. With the rest of my, I was looking. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Where are the other officials at? <laughs> I was looking for the White Hat. I couldn't find. They him. were uh, they were talking over some things. So after one quarter, it's 14 to nothing, Harrison, and we're set to go now. Um, as ball is resting just outside the 11, close to the 12. We're start the second quarter with the Goblins in possession at the Alma 11. And I guess we're I guess we're ready now. Yeah, here we go. Under center, Keelan. Second time tonight he's been under center. Hands off. Nope, he throws to. I thought he was going to. Uh, I thought he was going to uh, hand off and run a play action, and that's what they did. And he passed it out to Moy on the left side. Perfect pinpoint pass, touchdown. Yeah, it was kind of hard to actually see over there on that, in that corner. That, when he uh, faked that handoff. Yeah, you know what? I thought that was Moy, but uh, even the PA announcer was uh, was uh, was full too, and and so uh, Moy stayed uh, as a decoy. PAT coming up, kick is up, and it is good. 11:54 left to play in the first half. 21 to nothing in favor of Harrison. Back with more from Goblin Stadium right after this. Welcome back, everyone. Just underway in the second quarter. Another touchdown pass tonight for the senior Cole Keelan. It's 21 to nothing now, Harrison. It is dark on this field. It is. I, I was thinking the same thing. I they just, need, like, four more light banks. It is extremely dark up here. Beautiful facility, but extremely dark. High short kick's going to hit at the Alma 35. That's a live ball. Alma gets nobody on it. They, I think, you know, they, they had everyone back deep to return it. Yep. The ball hit right at the 30. Hit right in the middle. And, and uh, there was no one around it. They couldn't, they, they, they couldn't get anybody close to it. And Harrison recovers. Boy, everything that has, uh, could go Harrison's way has gone their way tonight. It, uh, Brody Gillen that recovered that. Yeah. Day. I mean, just a perfect pinpoint kick and uh, from the Goblins. They kicked it to the open spot. Very open. And um, <laughs> right the recovered the, uh, the live ball. Alma just couldn't get anybody there quick enough. I mean, they were trying. Keelan, shotgun formation. Hands off. Welsh, left side, 30 to the 27-yard line. And Jacob Corsi on the tackle. Good tackle. Grabbed him, wrapped him up, put him down. Four yards on the carry, second down and six, Harrison. 11.35 left to play in the second quarter. 21 to nothing, Goblins. Under center, Keelan. High formation. Play action, rolling out to his right. Throwing over the head, the intended receiver. You know, and a, a penalty flag comes, was that a penalty flag? Yep, comes flying in late. No way. No, it wasn't a, it wasn't a penalty. They just, someone lost a towel. Um, all right, so let me let me tell you. Here's the thing: left-handed quarterback, you roll him out to his right, over through his intended receiver. It is so tough for him to throw across their body. Right-handed quarterback, you roll him out to his left, try to throw across the top of your body. It's it's tough, they and that's what that's what we saw because he's been spot on all night long. Yeah, he, he just can't square up and throw the ball accurately. You get your body like this. Third down and six. Keeper, left side, quarterback keeper, breaks a tackle, he's gone to the house. 
Touchdown. Touchdown, Rollins. 27-yard touchdown run around the left side for the quarterback. Cole Keelon. 11-12 left to play in the first half. Moy, the uh, kicker, left-footed kicker. They have a left-handed left, uh, left -handed quarterback, left-footed kicker. Don't hardly see that. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and it's good. 11 minutes, 12 seconds left to play until halftime. 28 to nothing. Harrison will be back with more from Godwin Stadium right after this. And uh, it just, you know, he's just a ball player. Yeah, he's just a ball player. You know, he's a senior. But, uh, yeah, he just, he, listen, he just likes to get in there. He doesn't care where they put him in, where he plays. He just, he just wants to play. Connor Stacy. Connor Stacy, shotgun formation. That's Chronister in the backfield. Chronister gets the call, left side. Hit at the line of scrimmage, falls forward for maybe two yards. Well, Harrison definitely, uh, game plan to uh, stop Connor Stacy and uh, Logan Cronister. Number 34. So and far they've, uh, they've been successful. Alma going to halftime though. They'll make some adjustments. And, you know, we'll uh, we'll see some different wrinkles uh, you know, in the start of the second half. Here we go. Stacy under center. Cronister in the backfield on second and eight. And a fumble on the, uh, on the play. And Harrison has come up with it. Are you kidding me? Inside Alma territory. Alma just got to do it. They, 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 can't, they, they have no luck right now. Just no luck. Anthony Allen got the loose ball, and the Goblins are back in business. At the 28 yard play line. And, um, was, that a, was that out on the handoff, or was that it was over? I couldn't tell. It, it, it was, it, you know, he was under center, I, you know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it was an exchange or if it. You know, he just didn't. He just didn't get the ball. I, I literally don't know. You couldn't tell. I mean, he was right there. You know, but behind all the line. So it's first down and ten from the Airedale twenty-eight yard line for Harrison. Keelan, shotgun formation, two in the backfield, and a hey, fumble. On the play. And Harrison is going to cover the football. Two back to the third. They're going to lose about two Third's yards on the play. Down. Three yards on the play. Second down and 13. The mark at the 31 mark, three. Clock is running. 10 minutes left to play in the first half. 28 to nothing, Goblins. Certainly not what we expected uh, driving up here. Yeah. Alma has just not been able to, uh, to get any breaks go their way. Play action, pump fake. Looking deep, having to run for his life now is Keelon, Keelon is hit oh, and Keelon, upended the at the 27, the they're gonna mark him down to 27 yard oh, line. Who was it, was that Kirkfield or is that? I couldn't see. No, it's York. Is that Joseph York? He did a lot of running, Alma, Mike, but 15, really didn't gain, no. he didn't gain hardly any yards. It looked like it looked like he went for eight or nine yards, but he actually only picked up what, four yards? Yeah, about three and a half, four yeah, yards. Yeah, third down and nine. 
<clears throat> so here we go. They're bringing in the uh, bringing in the trip uh, the trip package. It's wideouts everywhere with nobody in the backfield. That was Jonathan Jonathan Polito who made that tackle. Was it? Yep. Trips to the left, two wideouts to the right. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure, throwing it over the middle. Got a man wide open. Touchdown. touchdown and he's doing it right over the middle. Good protection for. Uh, for Keelan, and he hit him right in stride. Eight fifty-four left to play in the uh, first half. Thirty-four to nothing now. Harrison Moy on the extra point. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Timeout on the field. 8:54 to play in the first half. 35 to nothing. Harrison back with more right after this. Welcome back, everyone. 35 to nothing, Goblins. Airedale's getting set to get the football back. Trey Fusler back at five. Can't tell. It, it, it is, it, you know what? I, and I've, I'm thinking because of, uh, when I stepped outside, I'm not sure if it's that dark, Mike, or if it's the tint on these windows. Fusler's going to let this one go out of bounds. And it will be Airedale. He said he touched it. He did touch it. He touched it on the six, and it went out of bounds on the six. He reached for it and touched it. I didn't know if he did or not, I but. I don't think he was close I, enough to touch it. No, he was. He reached out as the ball was rolling towards uh, the sidelines to go out of bounds. And um, the Harrison coaching staff was pointing out that he, he reached out and touched it. It went out of bounds, and that's where Alma will have it first and ten at their own six. Hey, do me a favor. Open that door for me. No, oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah. So the Airedales will start in the shadow of their own goalpost, first down at 10 at their own six. McAllister in at quarterback. They hand off to Cronister over the left side. Logan carries out past the 10 to the 14-yard line. Eight yards on the carry. Second down and two. That's a good play. Just get that out of the deep, deep much back better. here. Yeah, much better now. A little bit of airflow in here. Yeah. Um, I don't think they actually have any air no conditioning vent. vent. They don't have any vents in here, but they have. The, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> they have more airflow coming out of the uh, center of the press box, so it's a lot better now. Second down and two. Handoff, Cronister right side, runs into a stack of players, manages to fall forward for the first down. If they give him his forward progress out to about the 17, they'll move the chains. And the Airedales get a little breathing room now. Clock is running, or it's stopped to set the chains. 8-11 left to play in the first half. 35 to nothing, uh, Goblins. Everything that could go right for Harrison, Mike, has gone right for Harrison. Uh, interceptions, um, uh, fumble recoveries. A short block kicks. punt, yeah, short kick and recovery. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's all just the ball has definitely bounced their way tonight. McAllister, play action, back to pass, looking downfield. And he's going to underthrow the intended receiver, and That's Alma's right. going to get a uh, – Connor Stacy was the intended receiver, and Alma is going to get a, per, a, a, a pass interference call at um, the 40-yard line of Harrison. McAllister just let that one fly, baby. Yeah, he threw into he, double he, coverage. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's going to be pass interference on Harrison. And they'll mark the uh, penalty off and move the chains. So McAllister ripped that from about his 10. He threw that 50 yards on the fly. <laughs> and they'll mark off the 
15-yard penalty. Move it out to the 33 of Alma. 7.49 to play in the second quarter. Goblins lead 35 to nothing. They, they listen, literally, the ball on the turf bounces to them. It's just been one of those nights. It's been kind of a crazy, crazy first half so far. But, hey, Alma's still playing tough, man. Here we go. McAllister hands off oh. to Logan, and Logan stumbles as he gets the handoff. He will lose he, uh, three yards. Yeah, I think he had twisted his ankle or something there. Yeah, he's coming out of the ball game. I think he did. Who are they bringing in? Uh, who is that? Connor, is that Connor, Connor Stacey going to go as a wide out? I'm not sure who's in the backfield. I can't I see. I was watching. Yeah. McAllister on second down and 13. Ooh, ooh, they hand off and immediately hit. Uh, is that uh, Callahan? Yeah, no, De Devin Poole. Yeah, Devin Poole. No. It's just really dark down there, and, and, and uh, they have a bank of lights at one goal line and a bank of lights at the other one. Talon Stevens is who met him in the backfield. Yeah, and upset that play. Yeah, was... we want to listen. We want to call everyone's name that we yeah. can, and it's 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 tough to see on that far side. McAllister, uh -oh. the penalty flag stops the play before it ever starts. And I want to say Harrison was offside. Yeah. That is the call. So they'll move five yards, and that will erase part of the part of the loss. It'll be third down and 11. A little more manageable here. Move the ball back out to the 32-yard line. Airedales have to move to their own 43 for the first down. Trips to the right side. Hunter McAllister. And, there, uh, and Harrison is jumping off sides again, so this will make it even more manageable now <laughs> as that is back-to-back -back off sides against the Goblins. Yeah, Hunter McAllister is giving that hard count. Giving the hard count. Yep. McAllister, junior, six foot seven, two hundred pounder, in at quarterback. And the Airedales break the huddle. That's Brady. Uh, that's Brady Noise in the backfield. Noise at tailback of record to the right. Third down and six. Back to pass. Rolling, throwing. And in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. They were looking for uh, Nehemiah Relliford. Yep. And Nehemiah was hit immediately when that ball came to him. So on the incomplete pass, it'll be fourth down, and punting unit comes out for the Airedales. Number 31, Tyler Hutchinson, and number 13, Lane Johnson dropped back deep for the Goblins. Dane Martin, high snap, goes over his head. Martin picks it up, trying to run with it. Dane tripped up at the 25-yard line of Alma, and that's where the Goblins will have the ball first down and 10. Man, you know what they say when it rains, it pours. Yeah. Brody Gillum. And Trey Richardson 6-12 left to play in the first half. 35 to nothing, Goblins. Cole Keelon, the left-handed gunslinger, still in there at quarterback. Shotgun formation. He has Walsh in the backfield. Walsh gets the call right up the middle. Walsh inside the 25, inside the 20. Stopped at the 19-yard line. And it will be second down and three now for Harrison. Yeah, it was just uh, straight and hard up nose, running right up the gut. That was just a solid run. Second down, Goblin. Tell back, Jordan Welsh on the carry, left side, has enough for the first down as he carries it to the 15. That'll be first down and 10 from the Airedale 15. Taylor. 
There's a handoff on the right side. Tristan Thompson, the ball carrier. Thompson takes it. Thompson, the ball carrier, over the right side, carries it inside the 15, down to about the nine. Second down and five. Corsi and Joseph York. It'll be second and four, Harrison. Second down and four. Just inside the 10. There's the handoff inside the five, close to another first down, depending on the spot. They're just chewing up clock now. Yeah. I can tell you one thing, and uh, Harrison always is a well old machine. I mean, you know, over the years we've played them and played them and played them, and they've always been tough. First down and goal, Goblins. From the Airedale five, clock is running. 4.34 left to play in the first half. 35 to nothing, Harrison. Keylon, hands off. Right side, that's the ball carrier, number 36. Jordan Welsh, touchdown off the right side from five yards out. PAT coming up from Moy. Noah, Marks on to the point Noah Moy. Reckoned up. Left Go footed kicker. Will good snap, good hold. Kick is long enough and it is good. 426 to play in the first half. 42 to nothing in favor of Harrison. Back with more from Goblin Stadium right after this. Fusler sets up deep along with Brady Noise to receive the kick. Bardwell will kick it away. From Bardwell, it's teed up at the 40. A high short kick. It's going to be fielded by an up back and fumbled but picked up. 20, 25. The ball carrier or it was uh, Landon Burkhart. Is that Landon? Yep. So Burkhart with uh, about a six-yard return, maybe seven. Depend yep, there's a spot. It's on the uh, 27. It'll be first down to 10 Airedales. 421 to play until the end of the first half. Alma at their own 27. And Hunter McAllister comes back out of quarterback. Let's see who the tailback is. They hand it off to uh, Logan, Cronister, the Logan Cronister. They got Logan back in there at tailback. One yard on the carry. Ball is marked down on the 28-yard line of Alma. Second down and nine. Here does break the huddle. They send two wide outs to the right side. Nobody to the left. McAllister shotgun formation. Hard count, doesn't draw anybody off sides. They change the play from the sidelines. Plenty of time. Play clock is at 12. Now McAllister changed the play at the line of scrimmage, and here we go. They move Cronister to the left. Back to pass. They throw in the slot. It's complete at the 30. McAllister swung it out to Connor Stacy at the 30 to the 31-yard line. Gain on the play of four yards. Well, maybe three. It'll be third down at six. Alma going with a hurry up offense. As they send an artist wide to the left side. Along with Stacy. McAllister changing the play now on third and six. As Cronister in the backfield, he moves him to his left. That's the wide side of the field. Rolling out to his left. Under pressure, oh, hit and sack wow. all the way back. And they're going to mark him. Uh, you know, they, you know they're, they're going to be nice. They're yeah. going to mark him on the 19. He was actually <laughs> tackled at the uh, 14. But they're going to say that uh, when they when they got a hold of him, that's and they just carried him back. Yeah. 
So it'll be fourth down and a bunch, and Dane Martin will be on to kick again for the Airedales. Actually, it wasn't forward progress. It was yeah, well, he was stopped. Yeah. He, he was, his progress was stopped. Yeah. So instead of a ball being pinned back inside the 14, as Alma gets a Dane player on uh, coming in late from the sidelines. Here we go. Now they have enough. Dane Martin, and the Airedales are going to take a timeout. Uh, play clock was down to three. I'm not yeah. sure that they would have got that off in time. Um, 217 to play in the first half, 42 to nothing. Harrison back with more after this. If anybody has any extra blankets, you might take them over to Queen Sydney and her court. Don't chill over there. Welcome back, everyone. Final two minutes, 17 seconds of this first half. Airedales taking their uh, first time out. We'll have the football. Fourth down and uh, 19. Oh, maybe a little bit less than that. It's maybe 17. Dane Martin set to kick. And back deep to receive would be Jordan Welsh and also Lane Johnson. Again, it's Dane Martin in punt formation. Dane standing on his own five. Good snap. Gets the kick off. Low line driver going to be fielded at the 45. And there is your hard collision of the ball game. Who was that? That was, I'm watching to turn sideways, I can tell. Is that uh, Trey Fusler? Yep, Trey Fusler. Trey Fusler met the, uh, the punt returner. The second he caught the football, Mike. One step and he had One step and bam, hello. My name is Trey. So it'll be first down and 10. No return on the punt. Ball is on the Airedale 46-yard line. Two minutes, 11 seconds left to play until halftime. Airedales will go in and regroup at halftime and come back out. Play that second half of football, and I guarantee you they'll be getting after it. Player comes on late now for Harrison. They run a man in motion. They hand off to the motion man. He's got some blockers around the left side. And he, he's going to go to the house. One guy could trip him up, and they finally catch him at the 15. And a penalty flag is thrown back at the uh, 33. Now, here's what they did. They brought a man on late. They did that on purpose, Mike. They brought him. In motion, they brought him. They brought him. No, they brought the man on the, on this side that did the downfield blocking. This is number 13. It's Lane Johnson. They they walked him onto the field just before the play was snapped. Once he stopped. After taking two steps on, Alma noticed, and they, there, there was two guys running out towards him. They brought a man in motion. They pitched to him, and by that time, it was already gone down the field and, and uh, off to the races. But there was a penalty on uh, on Harrison. This thing's going to come back. Yeah, it's holding penalty in. That, you know, of course, he's the one that made that tackle downfield, or he would have scored. Mm -hmm. But it, like you said, it don't matter. It's a spot foul. Ball's going to be spotted back on the 43. Second down and seven for the Goblins. The handoff goes right up the middle. The and Nathan Whalen. Nathan Whalen caught him right there. Sloan Barrett was the ball carrier. Logan Plumley is the new quarterback in. Gain of a yard, third down and six. Good to call Whalen's that number again. From the Airedale 42, Plumley under center, I formation. Hand off to the tailback. He looked like he slipped. He did. His shoes back at the 49 yard line. He lost his shoe. It was uh, it was stuck to the uh, 49 yard line. Yeah. And uh, he loses a couple of yards. Matter of fact, he loses three. It'll be. Uh, I sure thought that was. That Beck Jones. Who, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he took a step and yeah. he stayed there. Third down and third down and almost ten. He's like, wow. Yeah, didn't know what to do at first. Third down and ten for the Goblins at the Airedale 45. Full house, left side. They run out of room, run out of real estate. They run it to the oh, short side of the field. And Trey Fusler was over there. Right, Taylor. And uh, also Jonathan Polito. Driven out of bounds by the Airedale. Gain on the play of about five yards, fourth down and five. The ball is marked on the Airedale 41. 47 seconds left to play in the uh, first half. Fourth and five. 
Taking a while to Give call the play. Down. Yeah. Play clock's at 13 and counting. Plumley gets a play in from the sideline. And here we go. Plumley, shotgun formation. Clock has stopped at 47 seconds left. And there. Yeah, it delay a game. Got to be. Yep, delay a game. Delay a game is called. The mark off five yards. I don't know if this was just intentional to give them a little more room to punt. Or, you know, if they if, if they just couldn't get a play, I would think that that they, you know, it, as lucky as they've been on everything that's happened tonight, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just giving them more room to punt. Yeah, I think that was intentional. They just kind of stood around. Yeah. Plumley, the quarterback, on fourth down and um, ten. Oh, they're going to run a play. They're going to run around the end. And they almost pick up the first down, Mike. They almost pick up the first down. Joseph York was over there to help slow it down along with uh, a couple of other Airedale players. That was, uh, wow. Madden, who, who actually ran that ball. Uh-uh. <laughs> 41 seconds left to play in the first half. Is that what you got? Coming up at half well, I, I can't. I'm having to lean out the window to see the scoreboard. Oh. McAllister hands off. Chronister left side. Penalty flag comes in late. Another penalty flag. Two penalty flags come in. One from the uh, back, uh, the back up, and one from the uh, from the line judge. It's going to be holding against Alma. Yeah. So they'll mark 10 yards off on the spot foul. And it will move it back to the 31 yard line of the, the Airedales. First down at 18 for Alma. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. It's 42 to nothing, Harrison. And actually, I don't know if you see that there on their. Uh, around the corner you can see it. it gives you what time it is and what, what the, the degrees it is outside 49 yeah Chronister gets the pitch well, they, across the 30 they were laying and waiting for him but yeah, man they, they've had his number all night they're keying on him so bad he can't even get out of the, out, you know he's just they keyed on they have keyed on him so bad you know stop him at the 32 I was just gonna let the clock run out it's gonna be the last play of the first half so it's halftime and uh, the Airedales will go in. They'll regroup, make some adjustments, and come back out in the second half. 42 to nothing, Harrison. You're listening to Airedale football on the Marshall 96.7 FM. Don't forget to thank our concession stand volunteers, Robin Reeves and Remax Realty. We appreciate them very much. Coming up in just a second, the Goblin Marching Band.
Welcome back, everyone. Goblin Stadium, 42 to nothing, Harrison. And, I mean, you know, Mike, what can you say? It's uh, everything that uh, could go wrong for Alma went wrong in the first half. And every time there was a loose football, it bounced uh, Harrison's way. <laughs> you you have those games. Oh, yeah. You're going you, to have You them. have those games. And, and I know that the kids are frustrated. And I guarantee you they did not wake up this morning thinking, you know what, um, yeah, I'm going to fumble tonight, or you know, you know what, uh, I'm going to miss that block, or you know what, I'm 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 not going to make that uh, that tackle. N none of them thought that. Okay, it, they're they're playing hard. It's just every single bounce is going Harrison's way, and and we've seen it. Ha Listen, we've seen it happen for Alma. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, I mean, it is what it is, and and uh, all you can do is just uh, is watch the team in the second half, and and uh, they'll keep playing hard and keep fighting. Um, this is a very proud Alma team, and, 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 and this young team is hurting right now. I guarantee you, in that locker room, there's some upset ball players, and they know they can play better. Sure. I know they can play better. You know they can play better. Oh, yeah. It's just one of those nights, man, and, and it's what you have to chalk it up to. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, as many times as I've watched this, uh, watched this team, and I have been here calling these games with this program, uh, since the last two years of, uh, of the Frankie Vines era. So I've seen a lot of Alma football. Um, this team will continue to play hard. They have a lot of pride. This town has a lot of pride. And uh, they, uh, they'll come back out fired up in the second half. And uh, the coaches will, uh, will be game planning. And they'll, you know, they'll, uh, they'll, do, they'll do some things right. And maybe a little luck will shine on them in the second half. Yeah, you got it. So, like you said, it's... Uh, they're a young team. They, uh, it's one of those things, man. It's just one of those nights. It is. It's just one of those nights. And uh, it happens to everything in every sport, anything. It, it, just, it just happens. It's part of life. And, uh, hey, they're come out and play the second half. And guess exactly. what? You know what they're going to do in the second half? They're going to play harder than what they did in the first half. Oh, I guarantee you. Listen, their, their pride's hurt right now. So. Their pride is hurt right now. And I guarantee these kids will come out with a passion in the second half. And they will uh, they'll they'll play like it's uh, like it's the opening kickoff in yep. you know, the first half, um, it, it, because it, knowing knowing this bunch like I know them, uh, it, the, these kids have a lot of pride and they and and they they take it serious. You've seen other teams just mail it in. You won't see that out of an Alma Airedale team. No. And I'll tell you what, I mean, what do you expect when you have a guy that goes for 281 yards and 33 rushes, eight and a half yards of? carried the week before that next week they're going to get key he's going to get keyed he's on going to get keyed on and tonight they have been all over him i mean yeah. they have been pushing up the middle they've been, they've been uh blitzing uh every play they blitz man i mean yeah. they're, they're blitzing up the middle like nobody's business well and alma will they'll make some adjustments and and you know what it, uh, I'm, I'm anxious to uh, to get to the second half and and get to get to see what the uh, the coaches uh, the coaches do because I guarantee you, Coach uh, Coach Presley, the defensive coordinator, and Coach Smith, uh, the offensive coordinator, they'll they'll make some changes, and uh, I'm 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 really anxious, really anxious to see what they uh, what they do. Now we did see a change. We saw a change of quarterback. They brought in Hunter McAllister to replace uh, Connor Stacy. Hunter uh, immediately threw to Connor, which is a weapon out on the corners. So, you know, you um, Connor's got some wheels. Connor's got some wheels, man, and. Um, if uh, if if they can get uh, you know get those two to hook up on some more passes, then Harrison's going to have to start playing the pass instead of just laying in the backfield uh, and and uh, laying all over Logan Cronister. So well, I'm going to call it again, but our boy Braden Allen. Yeah, that's I, I got to throw it to him got, over the middle, and they will. They'll get him in. The, but here's I the thing: they're it. double teaming him. Yeah, they're, they're double teaming him because they know they know what a quality ball player he is and how dangerous he is. He's uh, one of the best tight ends that we've seen, and and. and and they can't get him the ball because they're double teaming. Yeah, I, the best two tight ends we've seen play all year so far are both right here. Mm -hmm. That number eight for Harrison. Yeah, he's good. Hey, big, he big caught that ball long ago. You know, six four, two thirty. They say. I think he's about two fifty-five. I think he's two fifty-five. <laughs> yeah, he's listen. He's, he's a, muscle too, man. He's a big kid. He's he's built like a bee. He's, he's he's really big across his shoulders, and he's just. I mean, it, and he can he can run. Yeah, that, that kid is tough to bring down. So. Yeah, they, and they hit him right in stride, and he did the rest. It was a nice, well-designed screenplay. So, hey, listen, if, if you're an Alma fan, don't get discouraged. Just relax, okay? Relax. It's, we're playing football on Friday night. Other teams like Port Boonville yeah. had their game canceled against Danville. They had to drive four and a half hours to Warren just to play tonight. 
That's a long road trip, man. That is, uh... So, <laughs> hey, I, I, you know, Northside's had to cancel games. Fayetteville's ca had th like three or four games canceled on them. So at least these kids are able to play. And the ones that are seniors this year, at least they're able to play. Yeah. It would be so disheartening if you were a senior on this football team Enough. and you had you had two or three games canceled because of COVID yep. and, and this and this virus that we have that's that's affecting everything in our world today. So at, at least our kids are safe. You know, I sent this to, to Ross uh, uh, Fujibayashi earlier, and, uh, you know, I said it, he, he wished him luck. And I said, man, you know, and, 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 and he takes pictures uh, for the Greenwood team. I said, you know, I hope that all the, all the fans and all the players stay safe tonight. And everyone, everyone stays safe. And that's what I hope for all of us, you know, and, and us just coming and being in the booth. You know, Mike, we sanitize. We wear our mask when we come in. We make sure that we, we stay as safe right. as what we can. And it also lets the, uh, the people that, uh, that we're coming to see on the road, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the hospitality that we have on the road like we have here in Harrison, it lets them know that, hey, we're doing our part, and we appreciate you doing yours. So, it, you know, Bill Ferris talks to me all the time. He's the owner of the Fort Smith Radio Group. He says, Jim, make sure, just make sure that, uh, that you do your part. You know, you, you, you make sure that you, you, know, you sanitize, you have your mask on, and, and uh, you know, just, uh, just follow the rules and, and, and let's, let's keep everybody safe because – no one wants to. Uh, no one wants to be the carrier. You get sick and then take it back to two or three people. And the next thing you know, you got a whole bunch of people sick. Yeah. And it's, you know, that's it, all you can do. That's all just, you can do. That's so. all you can do is be safe. And hey, yep. like you said, at least we're getting to play football on Friday. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, uh, let's uh, let's take a quick time out. We're at halftime, forty-two to nothing, Harrison. And uh, it's it. Listen, and I'm not, I'm not going to try to to paint a pretty picture or, or uh, sugarcoat this. They they've had everything bounce their way. Uh, they, they played on a short field tonight. They've also made some tremendous plays. Alma has made some good plays, too, yeah. but, you know, it is what it is. Let's take a quick time out, and we'll come back for more from Harrison right after this. Welcome back, everyone. We call him affectionately KT. Kevin Taylor is here with us with the Alma School System. And, you know, KT, we're, we're just talking off air about uh, everything that's gone on in the first half. Uh, four turnovers. But really, I mean, it, you know, a blocked punt. Um, you know, uh, just some, some things that's happened. And, and you know what? It, it, it's going to happen. It, it, it's it, everything. All the moons are lining up tonight for Harrison. It's a full moon, there's no doubt about that. And uh, pretty much a nightmare first quarter, or first half, well, first yeah. quarter and, and first half. You know, uh, Alma has 32 yards of offense on 25 snaps in the first half. Uh, Logan Chronister has had a nice game, 63 yards on 16 carries, but you've got a bunch of negative plays. You right. had the, the, the loss on the punt of 11 yards. You know the uh, the bad snap there, quarterback sack for ten more yards. I mean, it's just a it's a flurry of stuff that's gone wrong. And hey, let's be honest, Harrison's got a good football team. Sure. The quarterback you knew he threw for a lot of yards, nine hundred and six yards uh, coming in through four games, and he's at a buck fifty-five at the half. They only have two sixty-five as a team, 
But when you get the ball, you know, start five drives at, at the Alma 40 or deeper, mm -hmm. you don't have to have a lot of yards. Yeah, they've been playing on the short end mm -hmm. of the field. I mean, you know, a, a snap goes over the punter's, uh, the punter's head. And, you know, Dane gets one blocked. And, you know, it looked like Alma was actually going to come out of that smelling, you know, like a rose when – when uh, the the punt was blocked and, and then uh, was it Birchfield uh, yep. uh, picked caught it in the air yep. and then returned it for a first down but you know a holding penalty brought it back so that that uh, wiped that off and it, you know on the fourth down play it's like it, you know it would give Harrison another short field to work with and then the uh, then the kickoff that they 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 I mean placed it right at the thirty and and, and Alma couldn't get anybody quick enough. They had everyone back deep because they've been kicking it inside the inside the five all night long. They had it, you know, the return set up, but they didn't have anybody playing center field and it just it just caught them caught them off guard. Well I'm they recovered really, it. I'm not sure that's necessary, but it is what it is. It was kind of a golf kind of a one of, the, one of those golf shots. Yeah, it looked like a wedge. Kind of like a wedge shot. He just kinda of perfectly put it in the right mm -hmm. spot and uh, hey, give Harrison credit. Uh, they're going to start the third quarter up 42 nothing, and this is their conference opener because, remember, they had their game last week right. canceled with Farmington, right. and uh, I believe Farmington is playing tonight and uh, passed some of the Farmington folks on the way up the hill. And so, you know, Airedales just have to play a solid second half, come back, uh, hang in there, don't get your heads down and your well, That's what we down, were talking about, yeah. And uh, get ready for Clarkson. Well, one of the things I can I can promise you, KT, is when this, when this team comes back out, their pride's hurt right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, th this is not one of those teams, and, and you and I both, we've seen so many teams, football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, when a team gets down this bad, they do one of two things. They either just mail it in in the second half, and that shows, you know, a little bit of character on their part, uh, very little character, or they come back out and they play like it's the opening kickoff and the score is 0-0 zero, zero and they play their tails off. And I guarantee you, as much as I've seen Alma play, that will be the team that you'll see in the second half for Alma. They will play like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. They won't even look at the scoreboard. They'll just go out and play their play their best and try to win the second half. Well, it's a good coaching staff. You've got a yep. you know good head coach in place. You know, it's just a, again, I have so much respect for Coach Bush. Absolutely, you, you can't beat a dead horse in the ground. But uh, man, I mean, Harrison got every single even they even fumbled it. They yeah. fumbled it twice, <laughs> it and bounced right they bounced back right back to them. <laughs> Now, they, Alma did recover a fumble, and to me, that's the, the key part of the ball game. Mm -hmm. Alma does a uh, pitch out. It's going to be a halfback pass. The play just developed too slow, mm -hmm. and the ball's intercepted. And instead yeah. of having a touchdown, which, uh, you know, should have, would have, could have, almost. Right. Yeah, because Brayden Allen was back. open. Yeah, they run it back to the 25-yard line. Yeah. One of those things, man. Give the Goblins credit. They've played a heck of a game so far. Hey, what is going on in Alma sports uh, right now at the school? Well, I mean, I got, know we have a lot of stuff going yeah. on. We got uh, the doubles team. Doubles team getting ready to play on Monday mm -hmm. at the state tournament. And uh, Gibby is uh, well, one of those. Nathan Gibson. Right. And Drew Battles. Uh, Drew, ba Drew last year was with Drew Montgomery. They didn't make it to state. This year they did. Mm -hmm. And uh, they finished. They got the three seed. They could have had the four. They got upset at conference. They came back and they won to get the three seed. You don't want to be the four going to state tournament. No, the one. no. So they're playing the uh, two seed, got a chance to advance. So that'll be happening Monday in Hot Springs. And uh, best of luck to those guys. Uh, I like what's happening with the volleyball team. Uh, a lot of grit, playing hard. You know, they're trying to get things going. Right. And uh, Kimberly Weaver, the coach, uh, trying to get that program in the right direction, and I believe she will. The the junior, so. uh, you know, the... She has good pedigree. Absolutely. Southside, the, the ninth grade team beat Chapin. They swept Chapin twice nice. this year. So, and, you Very know, nice. good stuff coming on the way. Uh, they've got some matches coming up this week. They'll play Bologna mm -hmm. in a makeup game from the COVID. Bologna was out because of COVID there for a while. Right. You know, COVID's affected football, but it's also affected, you know, uh, volleyball and other sports as well. Yeah, it's affected everything, and you know, and and, and so before you came in, we were talking about. It and I said, "Hey, listen, you know, Alma fans, don't. How how sad would it be if if some of these seniors, um, you know, had to miss games like Farmington's had to miss, like yeah. Fayetteville's had to miss. I mean, some of these kids are playing. They're they're they, you know they won't play you know, on the next level next year. They I mean, this is going to be their final season playing football, and and so you always want to see them be able to get in as many uh, as many games as they can." 
and um, with uh, you know with everything that's going on, I'm just glad they're able to play, and I'm glad that everyone has has stayed healthy and safe. Well, very few kids play at the next level. This is it, right? And uh, you know, it, it, COVID wiped out the spring. Soccer played about three couple, two or three matches, and right. baseball played four or five games. I mean, it it knocked out softball, track and field, everybody. So think about those seniors. Everything yeah. was uh, suddenly uh, that was it. Hey, I want to give you a, a quick update uh, for you Cub fans. Uh, Nana Nana Boo Boo, uh, you're out. Uh, the Marlins beat you two straight. Uh, they beat you two to nothing today. Uh, for you Cardinal fans, uh, you had better uh, hold your breath because the series is tied at one apiece with the Padres, and uh, it's one to nothing Padres uh, the top of the six with two outs. Cardinals are batting. So uh, hopefully the Cardinals can uh, – yeah, one to nothing. What to say, two to nothing? Let me get your thoughts on yeah. the bat flip last night. Your your thoughts on the bat flip? I, you know, okay. Let me say this. I like, I like the swagger. I do Swagger's too. good. Swagger's yeah. good. But, you know, you've got young ten year olds, and they're watching that. Exactly. And you do not want to see a ten year old. So, I like yeah, the swagger. Yeah, my hero. Yeah. Saw my hero do it. I like the swagger and the Fernando Tatis is a stud, no question. Yeah, yeah. But man, yeah, I don't, can't I, do I that. don't like that. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, just, I don't think you can. Ever yeah, do that. Well, let's see if the Airedales can bounce back. They're still hadn't come out yet. They're, uh, no, they're in there talking. They're, uh, and here they come right now. They yeah, go. they've been in there talking. So, KT, hey, as always, it. thank you, man. I will see Absolutely. you next week, um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do this again. Absolutely. Thank you, buddy. All right, one more quick timeout. We're going to come back. We'll have the second half kickoff right after this. Welcome back, everyone. Just about set to get underway. Second half, the Goblins will have the football to start the second half. It'll be a running clock now. And uh, Alma warming up, taking its uh, final uh, warm-ups. We're just about set to get underway. Mike Hessen, Jimmy Haas on the uh, broadcast tonight. want to thank uh, the uh, audio-video staff. All of the instructors and the kids that uh, that are part of that—they do a fantastic job. And I know from time to time, 
Uh, we do have some technical difficulties. It's just a, it, it, it's it's a challenge, literally, <laughs> running the miles of cable that they have to run just to make this thing happen. If you can see behind the scenes, what time they get here, and then what time they actually can get out of here after they break down all of their gear, you'd, you'd understand just how valuable the, these uh, these kids are to uh, to this program and to these broadcasts. So, Airedale's. Uh, Come back out. They have Kevin Mills uh, out there. Hadn't got to call Kevin's name. Want to give him a little shout out there on uh, special teams along with uh, Cooper Balkman. And uh, let's see, who else is out there? Levi Burkhart. Kevin Mills. Uh, yep, called him. Jaden Mayhar and some others. We'll get their names in. Here's the second half kickoff. Dane puts his boot into it, kicks it down to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, the 20, 25, to the 28-yard line, 29-yard line. And that's where Harrison will start the uh, second half as they send out the uh, backup quarterback, Logan Plumley. I think, Mike, for the night, uh, Cole Keelan, we won't see him yeah, back out at quarterback anymore. You know. There's no need for him. No, I don't want to get Kid's hurt. already thrown for 155 yards in the first half, and yeah. he's thrown for 900 uh, so far. You know, with uh, KT letting us know. Yeah, coming into the ball game, that's yep. that's getting it done. Yeah, tremendous. Late player coming on the field now for Harrison. There you go, KT. We we're going to bring him to you, buddy. <laughs> so here come the Goblins. First and ten from their own 30. They have single wide out to the left, wide out to the right. Broken eye in the backfield. They hand off to the tailback. Dances around across the 30 to 35, dragging a couple of Alma players for 11 yards, and they pick up a first down on their first down play. The ball carrier was number six. That's Brody Gilliam. Gilliam, a 5'10", 175-pound junior. Yeah, of course he was on the bottom hanging on when he was dragging him. First down, Goblin. He found him. Got him down in yep. Jonathan Polito on coverage on this Short side of the field, first down and 10 from the 41. Under center, Plumley hands off. Ball carrier hit at the line of scrimmage and taken down immediately. And getting up off the bottom of the pile is that, that's Jaden Mayhar. Now here's that, is that 40? 48 or 49, 49, Xander. Is that Xander Polito? Yep. Second down and nine. Shotgun for the Goblins, Plumley. They hand off running at left side, trying to turn the corner. And getting over there and trying to slow him down and stop him. First guy to hit him was uh, Aaron uh, Wilkinson. But uh, Aaron slowed him down and he managed to pick up some yardage. And he picked up a first down. And, and you know, Mike, Aaron had the, uh, uh, Wilkinson had the angle on him, but yeah. just couldn't get him pushed out of bounds. And, Needed some help uh, coming from the inside, and they had it blocked up good, and they picked up 10 yards. Plumley on first and 10 from the Airedale 48. Shotgun formation. They hand off right up the middle. Ball carrier is number six, Brody Gilliam again. Gilliam carries inside the 50 to about the 45 of Alma. 44 maybe. They are going to mark it at the 44. Gain on the play of four yards. Second down and six. And this Harrison offense just chugging right along. You know, she hasn't seen him back, step back and throw the ball yet. No. <laughs> I don't think you will. No, they're just going to eat this clock up. Second down and six. Nope, well, Wells right. back to pass. Looking downfield throws. Got a man, and he overthrows him at the 35. And right there on the spot to hit him, Jonathan Polito. He uh, was right on the intended receiver. Actually, it was in and out of his hands. He should have Yeah. He was right on the spot. I think he knew he was going to get hit by Polito. <laughs> He's like, man, I don't want to get hit that hard. Dylan Block on the uh, intended receiver. Trips to the right side. Uh, single tailback to the left of Plumley. That is Gilliam in the backfield with Plumley on third down and six from the Airedale 44. Gilliam gets the call, trying the right side, trying to bounce it outside. Alma has him. Nathan Whalen in on the tackle, along with a couple of other Airedales, and they slow him down. Jacob Corsi over there as well, and it'll be fourth down and eight, a loss of the play of two yards, and here comes the punting unit on what looks like a, the first punt of the night. They haven't kicked it. They've gotten they, they, they fake punted it a couple of times. Well, you see who come in. Well, yeah, the quarterback, yeah. Uh, Cole uh, Keelan. Yeah, Keelan come in. Now he's back deep to punt. He's standing back on the Airedale 43, so i got to believe that this is going to be a punt. Alma will drop 
Connor Stacy, I think I think Stacy's on the far side and Fusler on this side. Soccer style kick. It's gonna hit at the Airedale 15 and bounce towards the end zone and into the end zone. Connor or uh, Jacob Corsi is who it was back there. Corsi lets it uh, go right by him. Airedales will have the ball first down at 10 on their own 20. Clock is running, 7.34 left to play in the third quarter. 42 to nothing, Harrison, that was a score at halftime. And here's the Airedales with their first um, their first opportunity in the third quarter to try to make something happen. We'll see if they send out Hunter McAllister. It looks like that's who is coming out at quarterback. It is McAllister out at quarterback. He'll have Cronister to his, uh, to his right, tail back of the... Of the moment. McAllister hands off to Cronster, trying the left side. Hit at the 20, falls forward about the 22 yard line. Second down and eight, Alma. Physical therapy. The cake shop. Apex Electrical. John and yeah, Tara uh, Adams. I'll tell you what, that front line for Harrison uh, is a pretty good sized fellow down there, man. I ain't kidding you. They got some people on the front line. They're I stopping them holes up. And that's where they're actually, like I said, they're blitzing early. They're, just, they're blitzing the B gap like crazy right yep. now. I mean, straight crazy. Alma on the road next week will be at Clarksville, Arkansas, home of the Panthers. That's Marty Houston's hometown. Cronister gets the pitch, right side, hitting the backfield, loses the football. It falls forward, and it looks like Harrison has recovered it. No, no sign. Alma says they have it. Harrison says they have it. Let's wait and see the unpile. The Airedales have kept the possession. Um, the ball was fumbled forward, Mike, to the 24-yard line, so... It'll be second down and six now for Alma. So there's a break for the Airedales. Logan Johnson, who's come up with that, with that fumble there. Funniest story I've ever heard on Marty. Now, Marty, Marty, of course, uh, is, uh, is one of the managers at Fox TV, Fox 24. Um, when Marty played football, in my, in my, my one of my longtime good friends, our, our, uh, our morning guy, Steve Rinke, when Steve was with us, and Steve passed uh, a few years ago. Steve, uh, of course, went to school with Marty, and uh, we'll get this playoff, and I'll finish the story. It's third down at six. The ball is at the 24. McAllister, shotgun formation, gets a snap, play action pass, looking down the field on the left side, throws it up for grabs. It looks like it's going to be intercepted, but it's broken up. You know, the offensive player right there just went up and made sure that it was not intercepted. That was uh, Jacob Corsi, the intended receiver. Mike, he did a good job yeah. not letting that get in intercepted. Exactly. Um, so anyhow, uh, you know, uh, Rinky uh, went to school with Marty. Marty played football, and uh, it, I don't remember the team that Steve said, but uh, Marty, uh, there was a, uh, there was a fumble. Marty recovered the ball and ran the wrong way and scored for the other team. <laughs> his favorite story from Marty Houston. There you go. But he's a buddy of mine. Well, look at Dane put his foot into it, kicks it. Inside the 30, it's going to be down on the 28-yard line. Nice punt by Dane. They didn't have anybody back. They were, they were, uh, they were going to let him uh, just let him kick away. So the Goblins would take over first and 10 on their own 29-yard uh, line. They're leading 42 to nothing. So, yeah, we'll be at Clarksville, home of the Panthers next week, and. Uh, Looking forward to it. Get to see some uh, some friends that only get to see once uh, once a year. And uh, hopefully Marty will come out. We might even get him to be able to come in the booth with us and join us at halftime, maybe. Of course, Marty, uh, long time uh, long time uh, employee with Fort Smith Radio Group. He's done everything from he's covered uh, he's covered Van Buren. He's he's covered some Northside games. He's done a little bit of everything. Plumley hands off. First man through, tailback trying to cut it up. Field's going to be hit and tackled after crossing the 30 up to the 34-yard line. First guy to get to him was Xander Polito. Xander, well, it sure looks like a 40, doesn't it? But it's 49. Yeah, I was giving. I was, I was talking Mayhart. It was Mayhart was on special teams a minute ago. Xander, Xander's out there fighting his tail off on that line, along with uh, Parker Siminski. You know, I like I like this Semensky kid. You you watch him play. He plays hard every down, and and what a breath of fresh air to have a player like that, man. Second down at five. Quarterback. Logan Plumley on the keeper keeps it on the right side. Maybe has a first down. I think it's going to be a first down. He needed five. He, he picked up five yards and an inch. That was just a tough run by Plumley, the uh, the quarterback on the keeper. 
Moves the ball out to the 39-yard line. 3.05 and counting left to play in the third. Goblins with the football. Clark's for the next opponent next Friday night. We'll be on the air at 6.50 with the pregame show, the CSI Radiator pregame show. Hey, don't forget tonight we'll have the uh, Warren Robertson shelter insurance hard collision play of the game later on. Handoff on first down and 10. Goes left side to number seven. That's Phoenix Whitney. Whitney carries... Across the 45 to the 46, six yards on the carry. Second down. And, oh, seven yards. This is Jonathan Toledo, yeah. Jonathan Heath fired in there. Took his feet out. He's playing a pretty good ball game tonight. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Second down and three. Pitch goes to the tailback, number seven. That's Phoenix Whitney. He's going to be hit and thrown for a loss. I think that was. Uh, see that uh, that's uh, and, and uh, well and, and Aaron uh, Wilkinson yeah Landon Burkhardt had him you know, tripped him up and then he went back in there after Wilkinson stood him up he, he hit him they, they brought him Aaron down. Aaron is a uh, he's an interesting kid six foot 165 pounds he's a senior um he plays bigger than 165 pounds he's, yeah. he, he he doesn't back down from anybody he's very very interesting to watch Third down. They're going to throw the football. They're going to complete the pass for the first down to the Airedale 49. Pass was complete to number 12, Caden Quant. And, yep, it was just a good pass by Plumley. So they moved the chains. First down to 10 at the Airedale 49. Minute 10 left to play in the third quarter. 40, uh, 42 to nothing, Harrison. Airedales set up with a little pressure coming right up the middle. Tailback gets into the secondary and the loose football. That is a great job. Let me give you some credit. Let's see who gets up off the bottom of that pile with that ball. I think that was that was uh, right here. That was uh, Reagan Birchfield. Birchfield stripped the football and then recovered it. Yep. Reagan Birchfield with a nice strip and then a recovery for Alma. Well, that running back, when he got in the secondary, he was spinning around, and when he did, Virtual just reached in and ripped it out and took off. And How many times have you seen that, Mike? <laughs> a, a, a tailback stopped, but fighting for that extra yard, yep. and they end up they end up uh, losing the football. Yeah, they sure do. They sure do. So, good, uh, good play by Reagan Birchfield. First down and 10. McAllister under center. They hand off, trying the left side. Devin Poole, the ball carrier. We called his name a lot tonight. Yeah, we, he's played. He's played linebacker. He's, he's, he's played tailback. Devin is a junior. That's going to bring to a close the end of the third quarter as we move in to the final fourth quarter of tonight's ball game. Harrison leads the Airedales 42 to nothing. Back with more from Goblin Stadium right after this. Tammy Saddlewalk from Jerry Jackson Realty. Fat Belly Barbecue. And Spock Golden and Bardwell. Again tonight it was Northside Church of Christ and Kyan Marshall. We appreciate them very much. Also always hosted at Eagle West of Eagle Hockey Valley. Welcome back, everyone. First down or second down and nine for the Airedales. McAllister hands off. And nowhere to run. Reagan Birchfield was trying to bounce it out to the right side. And a loss on the play. They're going to mark him back on the 40. He loses seven yards on the carry. They just sent everybody on the left side of that they, line. They, they were, were waiting on him. They're just, they've been firing on that side all night long. I mean, like I said the, earlier, they've been shooting the gap over there. They're sending four or five guys on the left-hand side every time. That's why they just cannot run over there. Third down, 17 for the Airedales. They'll put three in the pattern on the left, single wide out on the right. 
McAllister, low snap, throws the football, and a penalty flag is thrown. The intended receiver was Nehemiah Relliford, and it looks like uh, a, um, a slow dance broke out over there because the <laughs> defender just simply had both arms wrapped around him and would not let him run any further than the 50. I thought he was going to dip him there for a second. Yeah, it, it, and we're, listen, we're making light of it, but it was it was passing her face. And Nehemiah could go anywhere. He couldn't have he couldn't have got any arms up to try to catch the football. He was literally wrapped up. Those of you watching on the live stream see you know you know exactly what we saw. And so that uh, that will uh, after they mark this thing off, it will be third down and one. Pretty close. I think that's about right. Maybe. Yeah, third down and one. Yeah. The ball is marked down at the 44 of uh, Harrison. Uh, yeah, it'll be third down and one. 10.05. And counting. Yep. McAllister, shotgun formation. The overload on the left side. They hand off to the tailback, going right up the middle. Let's see who gets up off, off the pile. I could tell who had it. Right there, Brady Noise. Brady Noise. Brady, Brady Noise. Mm -hmm. Man, it is so hard to see. Yep. Well, yeah, and, and Noise. You know, and that's the only thing that's distracting. Uh, beautiful stadium, beautiful facility. Just not enough lighting, man. And I think you're right about this window. And, and they've tinted the windows here to keep the sun out of the press box. I get that. But, boy, it sure does make it hard. That's all right. We fought through it, man. First down and 10. Ball on the 40. Noise on the carry again. Right side. Noise. 40, 35. Noise down to the 33-yard line. Maybe the 32. Good carry by Brady. Brady, a uh, sophomore. 5'11", 152-pound tailback. Also plays defensive back. Returns kicks. Does a little bit of everything for the Airedales. You know, Mike, there's always one or two or three sophomores every year that steps up and plays yep. some big minutes. Then we get to see these kids for, you know, the the, the three years in a row get to play. And, and boy, I, I, I'm thinking Brady Noyes is going to be one of those players. Yeah. Well, you know, in another year or two, they put about another 10 or 15, 20 pounds on that kid. Yeah. yeah. Second down and two. Noyes gets a call again. Bust a tackle. No, that's not Brady. That is... Is that Devin Poole? It was Devin Poole off the left side. Stopped at the 30-yard line, very close to a first down. It's going to be short just by about half the length of the football. So it's third, third and less than the yard for the Airedales. 8-10 left to play in the game. 42 to nothing. Those of you just tuning in. Harrison, total control. Alma turning it over four times in the first half. Broken play. McAllister got a run for his life. Hunter was going to hand the ball to the left. The tailback went to the right. And that's just one of those one of those mix-ups in the backfield. But a, a, a heads-up play by Hunter McAllister. Put your head down and run. Yep. Just uh, pick up the first down, my friend, and uh, move those chains. And that's exactly what the junior quarterback did. The ball is marked on the 27, almost 28-yard line. First and 10, Alma. McAllister, shotgun formation. Overload to the left. He's going to keep it, run to the right. Trying to get outside. Breaks a couple of tackles. Moves inside the 25. Good run by Hunter McAllister. Mike, it looks like that play was dead in the water, but he, he's sneaky, uh, a sneaky runner because he's tall. Well, you know what he did. When he started outside, he knew he, didn't, he wasn't going to have the angle on him, so he cut it back to the middle and made him stop. When they stopped, he made another three or four yards. That's exactly what happened. Gain on the play of four. Second down and six, Airedales. They have noise in the backfield. Brady just to the right of McAllister. Shotgun on second and six. McAllister on the keeper again. McAllister fighting forward. McAllister to the 20. They're going to mark him down. Actually, you're going to say his forward progress stopped on the 22. So they're going to give him a couple of more yards. It'll bring up a third down and four for Alma. Ball is marked on the right hash on third and four from the Goblin 22-yard line. They have to move it to the 18 for the first down. Here comes the play in from the sidelines. Airedales break the huddle, and here we go. The 
McAllister, they overload it to the left side, wide side of the field, he's going to keep it, turn it upfield, McAllister has a first down and more, Hunter turns it outside, run out of bounds at the 16-yard line, and the Airedales will move the chains, it'll be first down and 10 from the Goblin 16. Do you know Harrison is wanting to shut this thing out? Yeah. They're not wanting Allen to get in and score. That's a little pride on their defense. They have they have some of their defensive starters, you know, back in there now. In a way, I don't blame them. You know, I, I don't blame them. Uh, you know, uh, that's what you that's what you do. Airedales with two in the backfield, two wideouts to the right side on first and ten. Here come the blitz from the yeah. corner, and McAllister had nowhere to go. Yeah. He just let it go, man, and threw it short and that was, incomplete. That was Gillum coming on a straight blitz off the corner, and, I mean, it was going to get ugly if he didn't get rid of that ball. Yeah. Five minutes to play in this ball game. Second down and ten. For the Airedales, the ball is at the... About the 17, just outside the 17. And the Airedales send Kevin Mills and also Briley White wide to the right side. Rolling out the pass to the right, looking, throwing, got a man. And he overthrows the intended receiver, Kevin Mills. He had Mills at the five, but just let him a little bit too much with the pass. It's third down and 10, Airedales. He had about two steps onto the bender. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a good route, perfect route. And he went down and cut it back to the outside. Here comes Nathan Whalen back in the ball game now, along with Jacob Corsi on third and ten. Here we go. They send Corsi wide to the right side. McAllister, single tail back in the backfield. They hand off. That's noise. Noise is going to be hit at the twenty. It's not going to pick up anything. Matter of fact, he's going to lose a couple of yards. And the Airedales will be facing a fourth down and 12 from the 19. Wayland checks out. Riley White checks back in. Judson Parker in there getting some playing time on that offensive line. We'll call out as many names as we can. Fourth down at 12 from the 19 of Harrison. McAllister back to pass, throwing it in the end zone, looking for Briley. Briley has it broken up and a pass interference call on uh, the Goblins. will set up the Airedales. And uh, let's see. It will be... first down inside the 10. Yeah, it'll be inside the 10. Well, they're going to mark it down to the 7. To the 6. Maybe inside the five. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's going to be inside the five. Uh, let's see where he stops. No, it's half the distance to the goal. Okay, so it's so not a okay, it's not you. a first down. It's still fourth down, and they're going to mark it on the nine. I thought it might go to the seven. It's going to be fourth down and two from the nine. McAllister, hands off. And the ball carrier is Reagan Birchfield. Birchfield picks up the first down. It's first and goal, Alma, at the five-yard line with two minutes left to play in this ball game. Reagan Birchfield. We call that sophomore's name a lot tonight. Yep. Well, every week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just, like you said, one of the players. Yep. Birchfield in the backfield again. First and goal from the five. Reagan gets the call. Left side, trying to get outside. Reagan dancing around inside the five. They're going to move. The oh, they broke free and scores a touchdown. Yeah. Reagan Birchfield, I thought they had him stopped at the four, Mike, yeah. but he just kept Reagan spinning Birchfield. and kept breaking tackles, and Reagan Birchfield goes in from five yards out to get his first score of the night for the Airedales. Wow, that's just hard. No that was right tough. There. I mean, I think about four guys had their hands on him. Yep. Dane Martin in to attempt the point after. Dane in for the. Ooh, I think he missed. It. Yep. Yep. Extra point is no good. It's just the way Yama's night's gone. 
Minute 39 left to play. 42 to 6. Goblins with the uh, with the lead. They're fixing to get the football back. Let's just keep it here. Hey, don't forget we uh, we have our uh, Warren Robertson shelter insurance hard collision of the ball game. If we don't have it right here on this kickoff, I think I know who got it. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I think we already know. That punt was. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty something. Pretty good. That, lick. Uh, pretty yeah. Good lick. Yeah, that was. And like you said, what do you say? Uh, Fuser's what? About uh, 120. Yeah, buck, buck 05. Buck 05. Yeah, no, he weighed he, 122. Yeah, 122. Five foot five, one, uh, 122. But the kid, the kid plays so much bigger than that. So Dane will tee it up at the 40. And kick it deep. Minute 27 left to play in this game. Okay. All the way down to the one. It goes into the end zone. It's a touchback. Martin's kick goes into the Dane Martin puts the foot into that one, didn't he, buddy? Harrison will have it first and ten. Yeah, he uh, put that right on down there. I think that's a little frustration taken out on the football by Dane right there. He's had a tough night. Had a uh, couple of uh, couple of snaps when he's back punting. Um, you know, gone over his head. He's had uh, what two kicks blocked. Yeah, um, and um, he's just you know he missed an extra point. He's just had a tough night. He just had an off night. And I think he, I think he took that out on the, uh, on the, on the football. Um, you know, of course, Dane uh, kicked the winning, uh, winning well, field goal in overtime down. against uh, Rogers Heritage he a couple of weeks ago. Straight, so, yeah. you know, in my my book, he gets a pass. It's it's one of those things. Yeah, he's, he's a good kid, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It, you know, it, everything that could go wrong tonight has gone wrong. That's okay. They'll live to fight another day. Clarksville's the next opponent on the schedule. As the time runs out, that's going to be the final play of the ball game. So let's move to the CSI Radiator postgame report. CSI Radiator, great place to take a leak. You can see them at 3204 Wheeler Avenue in Fort Smith. You can call them at 434 And when I say it's a great place to take a leak, I have seen tractor radiators that you could literally put your hand in that Tim Adams has fixed and his crew over at CSI Radiator. I've seen, you know, Volkswagen radiators that you could literally pick up with two fingers and, uh, and it's just very small and, and tedious and Tim's been able to fix them and, uh, and save people some money. So uh, we certainly appreciate uh, Tim and, and Connie and everyone at uh, CSI. Uh, from commercial to industrial, if it has a radiator, CSI can flush it, fill it, or fix it if it's leaking. They can, uh, they can do a little bit of everything. Um, Mike, you know, the, the biggest thing about this thing is we, uh, you know, move to, to wrap it up. It's just been one of those nights. KT come in and talked about it at halftime. Uh, you can sugarcoat it, but, you know, it is what it is. It, it, the ball just didn't bounce Alma's way in the first half. And anytime uh, anything bad could happen to a team, it happened to Alma. Tonight. It's, it's just one of those things. They'll live to fight again next week. They'll get in, they'll watch the film. You know, they'll take their lumps and they'll move on, man. Conference season uh, continues next week. Airedales will be on the road uh, taking on the Clarksville Panthers. I'm looking forward to it. Clarksville's got a beautiful stadium. They laid, laid down some turf a couple of years ago. Yep. It's a beautiful stadium. So uh, a little bit closer for Alma fans to be able to drive to next week. And so we'll have more Alma fans in the stands next week. They, they always travel and always get out and support this team, and they will again next week. It's time to um, name our Warren Robertson. Uh, and uh, shelter insurance, hard collision play of the game. Uh, it, uh, it happened on a uh, on a Dane Martin punt as uh, special teams got down to cover it, and Trey Fusler absolutely leveled the punt return man. The minute he caught the ball, it was like bam, bam. Yeah, it, that was it. He, he might have made one step, and that was – he put him right down. And it was backwards after Fusler hit him. <laughs> yeah. It was. Now, you got for, – for those of you that do not know Trey Fusler – He's a senior, five foot five, hundred twenty-two pounds. The return man for the um, for the uh, the Goblins, who was returning the football, was uh, was five ten, one seventy. <laughs> he had fifty pounds on Fusler, and Fusler picked him up like a rag doll and just put him on the turf. And that is our Warren Robertson Shelter Insurance hard collision of the ball game. Of course, Warren. 
uh, any anything you need from home, life, auto, uh, any kind of insurance. Um, you know, I've, I have insurance through Warren Robertson, and uh, uh, he's been a supporter, him and Miss Christie, uh, for a long time of this uh, Airedale program, and they're going to continue to be uh, supporters of the uh, of the program. And we certainly appreciate them jumping on and, and being on board with us again this year, whether it's uh, – the uh, the rec uh, the Warren's rec room yep. or, or even uh, you know Warren uh, with uh, shelter insurance and we appreciate them. Um, Mike Reagan Birchfield got uh, the Airedales into the uh, into the end zone minute twenty seven. We both looked at each other. I thought he was stopped at the four, <laughs> but it was just absolute um, second effort on Reagan's part, and uh, he just he did a tremendous job running the football. Uh, five nine hundred sixty pound sophomore. We've talked about the sophomores. And and once again, you know, another sophomore steps up big for Alma tonight. These are gonna you can you can already see the makings of, yeah. of these ball players well, like the, like you know just like Birchfield and and uh, uh, and, and Brady Noise and, and and kids like that that we're seeing you know get out there and get in the field and get in the mix. Yeah, exactly. And you know when you get them in there, it, being a sophomore like that, that just it's just you know more reps is just better for them. You right. know they learn so much, they see so much, and. Uh, it's just uh, it's a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing for the team because, I mean, you got that young group coming in. you got some leaders there. And yep. that's, that's what you got to have. You're absolutely right. Well, that's going to do it for our CSI Radiator uh, postgame report. We'll be back on the air at 6.50 next week from uh, Friendly Confines Panther Stadium. I say Friendly Confines. We've got a lot of friends down there looking forward to seeing our friends that we get to see like once a year. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in attendance, getting out and supporting this Airedale uh, football team next week as well. Special thanks to uh, our uh, our food provider, who, uh, who Adam Daly and uh, and uh, Caitlin, Courtney, and Missy, who took care of us tonight with some uh, some delicious pizza on the road. They always take care of us whenever we go on the road, and we'll be back there at the pizza um, at the pizza place next week to uh, again uh, get some uh, some road food. So, for all of our sponsors and all of our uh, behind the scenes crew that uh, works so hard. To make this broadcast possible, uh, to my uh, my producer Michael Ferris back at the radio uh, studio, and to all of our our, our kids on the audio uh, video uh, uh, team here at the school, and everyone that works behind the scenes, we certainly appreciate you tuning in, watching, and listening to us for Alma Airedale football. And for Mike Hess and I'm Jimmy Haas. Have a great weekend, Razorbacks tomorrow night uh, on the road, Starkville, Mississippi. Mike. Uh should be a little bit better game this week. Yeah. They played tough first half. Matter yeah. of fact, uh, they uh, they uh, they were playing tough against Georgia. So I'm anxious to see what they can do against Mike Leach and, and uh, Mississippi, Mississippi State, State tomorrow yeah. night. Yep. We'll see what happens. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend, my friends. Enjoy the nice cooler weather. We'll see you next Friday night in Clarksville, Arkansas.